Billy Sherwood, Wikipedia article audio. William Wyman Billy Sherwood is an American musician, record producer, and engineer. He is mostly known for his time as a member of progressive rock band Yes, first from 1997 to 2000, including for their albums Open Your Eyes and the latter. He rejoined Yes in 2015 covering for original bassist Chris Squire who was on hiatus from the band due to health issues shortly before his death on June 27, 2015. He was asked by Chris Squire, before his passing, to replace him and keep Yes going. Biography Family In a similar fashion, he joined Asia alongside Yes bandmate Jeff Downs after the death of original singer and bassist John Wetton in 2017. He is also an accomplished solo artist, having released nine solo studio albums between 1999 and 2015. Sherwood comes from a musical family which includes his father Bobby Sherwood, who was an actor, musician, and big band leader, his mother Phyllis, a singer and drummer, and brother Michael, a keyboardist and singer. His godfather is the late Milton Burley. Billy has a wife, Michi. Sherwood's music career started when he joined a band called Logic formed by Michael. Billy played bass and sang while Michael played keyboards and sang back up. Logic also included Guy Allison on keyboards, Jimmy Hahn on guitar and Gary Starnes on drums. They eventually moved the band to Los Angeles in 1980. After many years of trying to get things together, they recorded their debut album Nomadic Sands, released in 1985. Logic eventually broke up, and Billy Sherwood put together a new band with Guy Allison. They recruited guitarist Bruce Gowdy and drummer Mark T. Williams to form World Trade. They recorded their self-titled debut in 1989, with Sherwood taking on the roles of engineer, mixer, and producer again, along with his band duties as bassist and lead singer. Then. Sherwood and Gowdy were asked to come and jam with Chris Squire, Alan White, and Tony Kay of Yes. Singer John Anderson and guitarist Trevor Robin had left the band and the idea was for Sherwood and Gowdy to replace them in the band. Robin returned to the band, but demos were recorded by a lineup of Squire, White, Kay, Robin, and Sherwood. However, Yes were to merge with Anderson Bruford Wakeman Howe and Sherwood was relegated to the role of side musician, appearing on one track of the subsequent album Union. Like Trevor Horn before him, Sherwood was uncomfortable with the idea of replacing Anderson as the front man of Yes, but he struck up a friendship with Squire that would lead to work with him throughout the next 20 years. Logic during the hiatus of Yes, Squire put together the Chris Squire experiment, having Sherwood as the lead singer while playing some guitar and keyboards. Sherwood then went on to record a project called The Key with guitarist Marty Walsh, though they would not release the album until 1997. Behind the board, Sherwood worked with Motorhead, Dangerous Toys, and Paul Rogers as producer and engineer. Sherwood also guested on Toto's Kingdom of Desire album, singing and playing bass. He also produced a couple of tribute albums, including Jeffology, a tribute to Jeff Beck. Sherwood then joined Yes on tour as an additional musician, playing guitar and keyboards for their tour in support of Talk. World Trade Sherwood got back together with his bandmates from World Trade and released Euphoria in 1995, with Jay Shellen replacing Williams on drums. After this, he worked with a multitude of artists. 
Most of his work was as producer, mixer, and engineer, including on more tribute albums, Dragon Attack, A Tribute to Queen, Salute to AC slash DC, and Crossfire, A Tribute to Stevie Ray Vaughan. Sherwood would CO produce, engineer and mix the new studio tracks for Yes Keys to Ascension and Keys to Ascension 2 albums. Sherwood started work on a third album by World Trade, but the band would fall apart. He would later use much of that material as his debut solo album The Big Piece, released in 1999. After the two Keys to Ascension albums, Rick Wakeman left Yes. Sherwood's friendship with Chris Squire would then lead him being asked to join the band again. The material that they had written together was used as the basis of what would become Open Your Eyes, released in 1997 by Yes. Sherwood played guitar and keyboards. Igor Koroshev would join the band before the tour as the keyboardist leaving Sherwood to playing guitar and supplying backing vocals. Yes and other projects after returning from the tour, Sherwood and Yes returned to the studio to record the latter. During this time too, Sherwood and Squire started putting the finishing touches on their album Conspiracy, largely based on the Chris Squire experiment material, which was released while Yes was on tour in support of the latter in 2000. Billy also took time to perform on his brother Michael's album Tangle Town released in 1999. Recent Career Yes recorded a show during the latter tour in Sherwood's hometown of Las Vegas at the House of Blues. This was released as an album and DVD titled House of Yes. Then after the tour, an announcement came that Sherwood was no longer a member of Yes. Equipment after his departure from Yes, Sherwood worked with Chris Squire to release Conspiracy, including some work they composed together some years before. Following that, Sherwood composed his first solo album called The Big Piece in which he played most of the instruments and also produced. The album was a sort of back to basics of his progressive roots. In 2003, Sherwood released another album with Chris Squire, the project becoming known as Conspiracy. The album was titled The Unknown. Discography More recently, Sherwood has been working on further tribute albums, notably Back Against the Wall and Return to the Dark Side of the Moon, tributes to Pink Floyd's The Wall and the Dark Side of the Moon respectively. The latter includes a new track recorded with Tony K. In 2007, a new band with Sherwood, Alan White, Tony K, and Jimmy Hahn was announced, called Circa. With the release of their debut album Circa 2007 and a live DVD concert, Circa has played various live dates. White left the band and was replaced by Jay Shellen. Sherwood is also credited for writing the theme song for the online anime series, Kung Fu Jimmy Chow. In August 2008, Billy Sherwood's released his third solo album, At the Speed of Life, for which he received an award that year as the best progressive rock producer. On January 14, 2009, Circa Self released on the internet its second studio album, Circa HQ. This time, White was not available due to his commitments with Yes. Sherwood's longtime friend, collaborator, and drummer, Jay Shellen, replaced White on the album. After a short international tour, Sherwood and co started another project with former Toto singer, Bobby Kimball. Kimball, Sherwood, Tony Kay, and Jimmy Hahn formed new band, Yuso, with the debut studio album in April 2009. Hahn later abandoned the lineup. 
he was replaced by Yes Tribute Band guitarist, Johnny Bruins. Shellen chose to focus on his work in Asia featuring John Payne and, after a number of other drummers, the band toured with Scott Connor on drums. Yuso then disbanded. Sherwood also released his fourth solo album, Onirology. Solo Albums In 2011, Circa, returned with a new lineup of Sherwood, K, Bruins, and Connor, while Sherwood released his fifth solo album, What Was the Question? In 2012, Sherwood wrote, produced, arranged and performed on the Prague Collective, an album featuring vocal or instrumental contributions from many of the progressive rock artists he had worked with over the years. He reprised the concept with a similar collection of artists for Epilogue, released in 2013. With World Trade On October 8, 2013, they released the official video to William Shatner's record Ponder the Mystery, followed by a sold-out tour with Circa. Ponder the Mystery also features appearances of Steve Vai, Robbie Krieger, Al Dimiala, George Duke, Vince Gill, Dave Koz, Rick Wakeman, and Edgar Winter. He also played with Alan Parsons' project. Sherwood appeared along with William Shatner in the season 14 premiere of Hell's Kitchen where they met Blue Team as part of their reward for winning the Signature Dish Challenge. On May 19, 2015, it was officially announced that Chris Squire would be undergoing treatment for acute erythroid leukemia, and that YES would continue their 2015 North American tour with Sherwood filling Squire's role. After Squire's passing on June 27, 2015, Sherwood as well as other members of YES made a public statement expressing his grief. In regards to his new role as the now permanent bassist for YES, Chris said to me, Play the music, be yourself and make me proud. It's my true desire now live up to his wishes. On January 11, 2017, it was announced via Asia's official Facebook that Sherwood would be filling in for John Wetton for tour dates in the spring of 2017 while Wetton underwent chemotherapy. Wetton died on January 31, 2017. With logic. With yes. With conspiracy. With Circa. Sherwood mainly plays Carvin guitars, 6 and 12 string, his main guitar, which he's played since his first stint in Yes, is a red Carvin, Telecaster shaped, with a Roland V guitar pickup. His acoustic guitars are made by Babix. He uses Line 6 amplifiers with 4x12 cabinets. As a bassist, Sherwood plays Spectre basses through Tech 21 amps with 2-4x12 cabinets. With the Prague Collective. With Yuso. Solo production credits. Other appearances. <laughs>